Listen, if you want to see the full version of this interview without waiting until part 75, <laughs> hit the join button right next to the subscribe button and become a VIP member for just $2.99 a month. While you're at it, turn the red subscribe button gray and hit the notification bell. All right, now VIPs, enjoy the clip. <laughs> Yo, man, listen. I remember I was watching this live. Mm. It was up and you was on live with uh, OP. Shout out my buddies. My absolutely, buddy. absolutely. Y'all was going back and forth, or y'all was going back and forth about why you don't react to Lil Scrap. Yeah. So, I felt a little like, hmm. Your reason it was he was young and you can't influence, you got kids, you can't influence that. But my question to you is, Dee Dee's young, D Dot's young, and they talk way crazier than Lil Scrap. How do you feel about that? Uh, Lil Scrap situation now, right? Yeah. It's different because I know who his, who his uncle is and know people around him. Yeah. You hear me? And that little nigga, I know he a little, little nigga. Yeah. Right? Dee and them niggas, I didn't know these niggas' age. Yeah. You feel me? It's now it's like me. Oh, oh shit. Son passed away. Nah, oh, he was 14? Yeah. That's a big 14-year-old. You know what I'm saying? Because he's standing next to niggas like Shai K and them. He don't look like he not their age. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, I didn't really, like, know too much. Because sometimes I be asking, like, who is this person? Yeah. I never heard of this person. Niggas be like, oh, I be acting like I'm oblivious. Sometimes I don't know who niggas is. You know what I mean? Sometimes I be like, you know why niggas think I'm oblivious? Because sometimes the reactions, I, I be like, like I be asking that rhetorical question sometimes. Like, who they dissing? But I know yeah, who they yeah, dissing. Yeah, yeah. But it's just like, I don't want to get too in depth with it. You feel know I me? Mean? Entertainment, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, who they dissing? Shit yeah. like that. So now they probably feel like I, I know, but I don't know. I didn't really know how old these little niggas was. And yeah. Shit like that. And then on top of it, to me, it was like, all right, little, little scrap. Come on, my nigga. OP is his uncle. I know OP. I don't know his pops. It's yeah. like, come on, bro. I'm not endorsing my son doing that. Yeah. I'm not going to endorse y'all making him do that. It's not like, yo, I picked up his music on my own. Y'all want me to pick up his music. So it's different. It's like, yo. Yeah. Yeah, your, your uncle telling me to pick up a drill track with you saying you GDK and I know what comes behind certain yeah. shit like that. Your uncle ain't gonna be at school with you. It just take a little nigga that go to school with you and his uncle yeah, might be GD him uncle might be GD and oh yeah, um this little nigga in my class, uncle. Yeah. And then after school your uncle your your nephew missing and then I endorsed it. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. endorse this shit. Like, nigga, I don't know, bro. It's just, I don't know. It's different than me, bro. Yeah. You know do what I'm saying? Because I know OP. Yeah. So yeah. do you feel like you was more connected to it? Like, I guess. But I didn't want the little nigga to be mixed up in certain shit, bro. Okay. Like, I just, I ain't really want because what I was going to say is, and I, and I understand that, but I also, to play devil's advocate, is like, what's the difference between OP coming to you to to have you react to that and a label coming to you to have you react to somebody who probably doesn't live that lifestyle at all? No. Yeah. That's the difference. You feel like because you know him. I don't was, know them. I don't know anything about them. They could be 18. Yeah. I don't know how old they are. Yeah. I don't know. But when I know, I know. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And niggas will tell you, I... I, I don't react to DD and them as much as everybody else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Gotcha. I, I don't. But now it's like, all right, it's to a point sometimes you got no choice but to do your job. Yeah. This is what people want. That's how I look at it. I kind of look at it like um, 
do I want people to be mixed up in nonsense? No. However, yo, if you a lawyer and you know that your client killed somebody, are you not going to do your job? They got to get paid. You know what I'm saying? You, so, what? so because it's, that sometimes like, yo, just like the, just like the Jewish people make money off of us all the time with our struggle that they don't support. Yeah. They, the Jewish community don't support niggas killing each other, right? They, they have quickly put a nigga in jail and comment on character. But they'll make money off of it, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So at the end of the day, shit, we in a fucked up world, bro. And I hate that, you know, we got to be fucked up to survive in it, too. Yeah. Yeah, you know, sadly. We not fucked up, but sometimes we got to be fucked up to survive in this fucked up world. Yeah. Like, like look, I... You know, I hate to, to make this turn. It's going to sound a little crazy, but I knew this lawyer. She represented somebody who she knows molested his daughter. And he beat the case. But she knew he was wrong. You know what I'm saying? But she, she was like, yo, I had to. I'm like, yo, how did you do that? She had to take her feelings out of it and just she's like yo, i have i have to I have a job to do you know what i'm saying um and uh, it's kind of like the da right now yeah right? i got a case that i'm fighting the yeah. da probably know that i'm innocent yeah but their job is to prove me guilty because that's what the cops brought to them damn you know what i'm saying and yeah. like some sometimes like i got tracks where i say fuck da and shit like that and that's tracks that was made before i got into this level of thinking you know yeah. So you start to understand people got to make ends meet. And yeah. what their job consists of might be something that you not happy with. Yeah, unfortunately. You know, and it's like, damn, fucking DA trying to give me this much time. Knowing that I'm not guilty. Knowing that the evidence against me is bullshit. But that's what they do because they got a record to upkeep yeah know what I mean sadly that's more important than them yeah. giving you true justice yeah uh, that's just how it is yeah you know what I mean and I fall under that umbrella too with making my money yeah I tap into shit that makes me money yeah you know I mean saying? likewise I, I felt one of the interviews I felt a little bad about I felt like um, I kind of I guess ignited it but then I was glad you went live with JD was after I released Freshie's interview, mm -hmm. like literally the day after him and JD ran into one, of the, one another and they jumped him. And I felt so bad. I almost took that fucking part out. I almost mm -hmm. took it down. Yeah. But then you went on live with JD and you was like, yo, niggas the same because of that interview. And JD goes, nah, I ain't seen no interview. He was like, um, he dissed me in a song and that was foul. I, I felt like I could breathe a little, like, woo, because I felt so that, bad, yo. These things come, see, like that question yeah. came about, maybe because I liked you. Yeah. Feel me? And I, I, I sometimes try to reach that arm out to save niggas without showing face. But now yeah. that we talking about it, I can say that. Yeah. That question came up, feel me? Like, I mean, I know where it goes. Niggas, oh, nigga, one cloud, this situation happened, now nigga, nigga drop an interview, nigga, da, da 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 this shit happened, this nigga fueled this problem and shit, yeah. and I know I go. So once the nigga who had the situation it, it admits to, oh, nah, what about that? Yeah. yeah, it was this. I was happy. Like when you did, when you spoke to him, and you, I was watching it, and once you, he said, nah, my nigga, it's like, I, I, like a knot in my chest was loosened, bro. I had, I had fresh on live too. Yeah, I remember that. Maybe. I don't remember like, that. I speak, I speak on both ends. Like as long as the rappers fuck with me, I fuck yeah. with them. Yeah. You know what I mean, don't ever look. Yeah. Now, right? This ain't on my platform. Now. Don't ever take shit personal. If I clown you, I make a joke. I really don't got no issue. With you, yeah. But I ain't a slouch. I ain't a buster. So when you talk crazy, I'm gonna have the same energy for you. Yeah. Because if you see me in real life, I'm going to have the same energy for you. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. Like, nigga, I walk around in this hood where I'm from. 
where we at right now. This shop right here across the street, my barber died in it. He used to, they changed the shit to a printing shop right now. My barber died in it, R.P. Paul, you uh, feel me? Big bro. We in the hood, like this whole shit is going around the hood. You know, yeah. different blocks. Y'all yeah, seen the shit from the beginning. We on different blocks in my hood. I hate it had to be nighttime. But like I said, it's P Phil's fault because he came late. <laughs> y'all could bash me, y'all. Yeah. Bash me. Don't Lord, bash I, upper. I, I wanted to do that shit in the daytime <laughs> when niggas was outside, you know what I'm saying? But in all actuality, like nigga right here, it's crazy. This all my kids. My barber died. I probably would have helped them if I was not probably. I'm right. saying probably to avoid. Yeah, I got you. Certain shit, but I would have helped the nigga I if I was there. Yesterday, I would have helped the nigga because I walk past. I told the nigga I'm coming back, and I say, "Yo, what's good, my boy?" Yeah. And I went around the corner, literally right down the block, around the corner. There's a Trini spot. Now I think it's a guy in these people, but it's a Trini spot. I want to get a big smoke herring with me, my cousin. And Nova that's locked up right now. Yeah. This block is a salty block too. This is crazy. Yeah. Nova got locked up for the murder on this block too. Damn. Right? It's crazy. Right there. Like that next building right there. Yeah. Is where he got charged for the murder. And Paul died right here. And that was in the same time frame type shit too. It's crazy yeah. about it. Right? So me, him and my cousin went to the um the, the, the Trini spot. Block. Yeah. We seen Paul held him up. Nigga, we come back. Literally, see Paul head back, bleeding. Damn. They ain't even like, no ambulance. Dangling no off his chair. It was just coroners came and picked Yo, up. Yo, you don't even know that feeling. Like, nigga, yeah. Paul was a ball that used to give me free shake ups. I ain't have it. Word. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and I was old enough to really, like, if I could have really did something about it. Yeah. Like I was I was really You know Facts Damn And I say shit Man Fuck Like I was pissed the fuck off bro Cause that's my nigga He's yeah. like the hood uncle bro Yeah He's like you do all uh, the bad shit Yeah All the yeah, bad the games in his store PS, You go to a barber GTA, shop You can play video PS, games Bro that I mean I was past the video games He was always good by bro yeah. Any bad It's a good shit. dude And mm-hmm. never tell your mom or nothing. Even if you see him doing bad shit it let you rock Price. out with the bash and, and and when you come get your bar, your haircut, yo, I know you, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, away from that. You, we'll yeah, facts. Yeah, my son was. And he always, he had his daughter, you know? Yeah. Good pops. And that shit really, like, those type of things is what bothered me in real life. It's when you a stand-up nigga, nobody respect a stand-up nigga, bro. Like, everybody just feel like the stand-up nigga ain't on shit. The stand-up nigga a bitch. And then... Those type of stigmas, it just makes you so fucking angry sometimes. It's like, damn, son. Like, nigga, I know this guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know this guy, bro. This nigga really would have made change for a lot of people. Yeah. I watched him come from renting a chair to Has owning his, his own barber shop. Shot. His own shit. Only him, the barber. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn. He had the video games in his barber shop. He took his own system from his house. Put to it. let kids play while they at his shop. Yeah. That's a different type of nigga, bro. And the nigga got killed over a fucking iPod. Yeah. And I, what you yeah, mean? A fucking iPod. iPod. Hold on. So the per- Somebody, the person got locked up, right? Man, listen, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I thought it was like yeah. over and done with. All right, got gotcha. you. iPod. Now this happened in the what? Oh nine or ten? You said somebody sold him an iPod. Probably twenty. Eleven. Twelve. Probably twenty twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, over an iPod. Bro. Yeah. iPod, bro. Damn. That shit just like I know the person regret it to this day. Yeah. It's like that shit's stupid. Yeah. You feel me? We don't like we know how the shit go, man. In the streets sometimes we make dickhead decisions. So I don't sit here and say, yo, oh niggas need to kill that nigga. Or or or, or, or people that so Politically correct and say he needs to go to jail. I'm not gonna say and say neither one. You know what I'm saying? Because we yeah. all make them fucked up decisions and like, and emotions could be the the cause of all that shit. Yeah. You feel me? I felt like it was stupid as fuck, but I felt as if he was more mature in the mind. He probably wouldn't have did it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So his name is Paul. Rest in peace to Paul, man. Rest in peace, Paul. Yeah.
world.